Alrighty guys, yo, what up? And again, just playing in Blender Octane, so let's get into it. So I've already got my scene set up here. This is the scene. As far as lighting, I've got this psych dome kind of going around it. And I've got one light panel here, which I have like this little bit of gray material to acting as a bounce light. All right, so first thing first, we're gonna go ahead and drop in a new material. And on this material, change a couple of things here. I'm gonna go to GGX, GGX Energy Preserve. I'm gonna change my base color to black. I'm gonna take my metallic, crank that up to one. And then I think I left pretty much everything else pretty much stock. Okay, now we need to change our IOR back. Come down here to artistic. We're gonna change this to RGB IOR. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna type in, we're just gonna do silver here. So we have 1.35, 7.47, 8.5, 4, 7 and the green we've got 0. 0.97 i'll have the website where you can get these values in a, i have a previous video where i showed you the site where you can get these values six four they're like and we'll go five point all right and that's pretty much it for that so let's take a look and see what we got okay boom there it is super shiny metal right all right so the first thing i'm going to do is doll this thing up because it's just way too shiny i'm going to come in here drop in a noise texture we're going to throw that into the roughness and then we're going to add in a UV projection, get better there. And I'm going to go ahead and preview my nose, 9. And we're going to go 0.81. Again, I've already had these values just because I've just literally just finished doing this. Uh, again, I'm going to go 1.5. I'm going to take my contrast, put it to 3. And then I'm going to take my noise, go down to like 0.3. Send it up a little bit. Good. And then go ahead and jump back over to that. All right, we got a little bit of patchiness there going. Okay, I can dig it. So next what I want to do is add in a little bit of bump onto this too here because it's, I'm actually going to do this. Kind of get a good view here, reflection, so we can see a little bit of, there we go, just to see the detail on. So first thing I'm going to do is bring in a wave pattern. Bring in a wave pattern. I'm going to take these bottom values. I'm going to drop this one down to like gray. And this actually pull out the saturation. Then I'm going to put this one to black, like that. And let's go ahead and plug this in. If you hold down shift alt, right mouse, hold and release. And then you can just drop it in, select the channel you want. There it is, bump. Okay, and then I'm gonna change this to one. Let me give this a value of one. And then I'm gonna go minus one on this one here. So what I'm gonna try to do is get these little tiny like lines. It's been sh scraped with a like drill or been like filed. So, <clears throat> Let me get a UV projection popped in here too. UV projection. I think it had some weird numbers here. I'm going to round them off this time. We're going to go 25. We're going to go 8. And then we'll go 46. I don't know why we should be seeing something here. I had this on X. I had this sign. Plugged into the bump. Plugged into the bump. Come back over here. Yeah, I don't know why it's not showing up. Now, this is the third time I've had to reinstall Node Wrangler. Like it's like literally been just acting up. I don't know what's going on with it. Uh, let me add a little bit more bump here. I'll go 0 0.902. Oh, and I really can't see it because I know Ranger's not. Yeah, it's connected. This thing is just super laggy today. But you have to deal with them when you use a 1050 Ti. All right, so I'm going to add in a noise, noise texture. And I'm going to plug this noise texture. Again, on this guy here, I had a value of 0 0.08. Then I'm going to drop this down the chip. See if we can see this in the node ring shift. I had this at 8. This was at 0.83. The value of, okay, I can see that a little bit. 2.36. That's working. And then I went to uh, maybe 20. Add a UVW transform like that. And I had a value of 0 0.02. Had that set to chip. And again, these values are, I can barely see any. Okay, there it is. 2. I'm going to bring it up just a little bit. All right, I can see a little bit of bump action happening right there and right there, but I'm not seeing the first one. So, but what I'm going to take these two guys here, and what I'm going to do is add a multiply, multiply texture, so we can hook them both up and bring this guy down to here. And let's plug this guy. Maybe this will show up to there. And I'm really bummed that these lines are not coming through. Okay, we're moving on. So we got the bump there. Now what I'm going to do is add in the dirt. So what we're going to do to add in the dirt here, I'm drag this guy out over here. I'm going to add in a material, mix material, because so we're going to mix in a second material. All right, that's our first material. Our second material is going to be a diffuse, and I'm going to give it like a dirty, grungy color. Matter of fact, I'm going to give it too dirty. Hang on, let's go add a gradient map, plug this into the diffuse, that, and then I'm going to take this and 
lighten it up just ever so slightly. Give it a little bit of a dingy light color. I think it's still a little bit too black. Let's give it a little bit more something like that. And then I'm going to take this guy. I'm going to copy this. And go to this guy. Paste it. And I'm going to lighten it up a little bit more. We just got this. I think this one is still a little bit too dark. I want this to be a little bit more gray. Flat. Okay. I like that. Now I'm going to add in a dirt node. Because I love getting dirty. Sure. I'm going to drop this guy in here. Drop that into the amount. I want to go ahead and solo this so I can see what this is looking like. What are we doing here? Let's get the strength cranked up 10. I'm going to go 4 on the details. 3 on the radius. And then I'm probably going to break this up. You know what? I'm going to spread. I'm going to go 0.8. Spread. And I think my distribution is 73. It's kind of heavy. But let's get a... What was I going to do? I think I'm going to put in here in a... I know what I'm going to do. Check this out. We're going to do this. I'm going to take... I'm going to add in a... Uh, what is it called? A UV... UV transform. And I'm going to take the noise that I'm using already from here. That we're using down here. We're going to drag this noise into this input. And plug this into this radius map. And then let's add in this so I can use that same noise. I'm just going to recycle that noise. But I'm going to change the scale. Now I'm going to use this to break up that noise pattern a little bit. Just trying to break up that pattern so it's not so smooth like that. Okay, I think that might work. Now let's see what this looks like. Okay, I'm not really happy the way that's looking right now. I want it to be a little bit more dirty, still too silvery. So what I'm gonna do, check this out. Let's go ahead and grab this dirt node, make a duplicate. I'm gonna bring this down over here. I'm gonna plug this into here. Let's see what this does. It makes a little bit of difference, but point two. And let's go maybe two, one. Okay, it's getting a little bit more dirty there. One, maybe take this distribution back to one. This set all this stuff to one. And maybe do a little bit of this. It still doesn't seem dingy enough for me. Like my other one came out way more, way more dingier. Hang on. Let me look at my reference. Because the other one I had a reference photo. I should have saved it, but I didn't. So now I'm going to use my pass render for the reference. I have a lot more dirt here. Like I like the way this one, like here I have a lot more dirt. And it doesn't feel like this one has. Well, you know what? Because we're looking at it at a different angle too. Hang on, let me back up. No, it still doesn't look as, what can we do? Let's try, let's see what my noise is doing down here at the bottom. Was that 8.8, 8, 85. Let's go with the gamma maybe. You know what? I did have a different gamma though, three. So let me try this gamma. Let's pump up the gamma a little. Ooh, no way. Not what we had going. You know what? Let's invert that. <sighs> There it is. I forgot the invert. There it is. That's it. Yeah, it was just looking a little light and sparse. I don't know why, but that was it. And then uh, let me pull this back a little bit. All right, there we go. So that's going to be like the whole setup. That's pretty much the whole setup. It's not a lot. Boom. There it is. So for my render settings on this, 500 max samples. My viewport is at 100. Uh, diffuse 8. Regular 8. Scatter 8. I could actually take that down maybe even four probably don't even need that much probably even go two because there's actually technically there's no scattering in this you know what matter of fact i think i'm gonna cut all of these in half because it, it was taking like for 500 it took 38 minutes just to get to 200 so it was taking a long time and i cut it off because i didn't want to wait for it so i'm gonna bring these samples down to 400 there and that's pretty much it that was on all my settings so i'll set it for 500 samples and just let it render while i go to bed <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, that's a little bit of some of the stuff that I've learned from my community. If you guys are interested in fast tracking your Blender learning Octane, Take a look at the link down below. And also for a treat for those who have stayed, I also will take a photo of all of these node setups and I'll also have them in the link down below so you can download them and use it for reference later on how to do these quick setups. Catch you guys in the next one. Keep rendering. It's the only way you'll get better. Remember, Blender Octane, this is the way. Peace.